In the mystical realm of Elysera, hidden amidst rolling emerald hills and ancient, whispering forests, there lay a kingdom fraught with an eternal twilight. This kingdom, known as Athoria, was a land where the sun never fully rose, and the moon never truly set. It was in this twilight kingdom that a young woman named Alara, born with hair as silver as the stars and eyes that mirrored the endless twilight sky, discovered her destiny. Alara, an orphan raised by the mysterious and wise elder Mira, possessed a rare and potent magic, the ability to manipulate dreams. She could weave dreams into reality, shaping the very fabric of Ethoria with her imagination. Yet, this power came with a price. Each you strained a bit of her life force, bringing her closer to the eternal slumber, a sleep from which no magic could awaken her. The kingdom of Ethoria was under the shadow of a dark curse, cast by the malevolent sorcerer, Lord Malachar. The curse brought unending twilight, wilting crops, and despair among the people. The only hope to break the curse lay in the fabled sunstone, a gem said to harness the power of the sun itself, lost in the depths of the treacherous labyrinth of shadows. Alara, determined to save her kingdom and its people, embarked on a quest to retrieve the sunstone. Accompanied by a band of brave companions, the fierce warrior Ryan, the cunning thief Lyra, and the wise cracking sorcerer Fen Alara journeyed towards the labyrinth. Along the way, they battled creatures of darkness, navigated through enchanted forests, and overcame trials that tested their courage and resolve. Upon reaching the labyrinth, Alara and her companions faced their greatest challenge. The labyrinth was a maze of illusions and deadly traps, guarded by shadowy beasts. Using her dream-weaving abilities, Alara guided her friends through the maze, their bond and determination growing stronger with each passing challenge. In the heart of the labyrinth, they encountered Lord Malachar, who sought the sunstone for his vile purposes. A fierce battle ensued, where Alara's powers clashed with Malachar's dark magic. As the battle reached its climax, Alara, weakened by the use of her powers, realized the only way to defeat Malachar was to weave one final, all-consuming dream a dream so powerful that it would either save Ethoria or trap her in eternal slumber. With her friends' lives at stake, Alara gathered every ounce of her strength and cast the dream. Reality and fantasy merged, and a blinding light engulfed the labyrinth. When the light faded, the sunstone lay in Alara's hands, its radiance banishing the eternal twilight. Lord Malachar was no more, his dark magic undone. The kingdom of Ethoria was saved, bathed in the warm, golden light of the sun, for the first time in centuries. The crops flourished, and the people rejoiced, their spirits lifted from despair. Alara, however, lay motionless, caught in the eternal slumber she had feared. In honor of her sacrifice, Alara was remembered as the Twilight Savior, a heroine who gave everything for her kingdom. Legends say that her spirit still roams the dream realm, a guardian watching over Ethoria. And sometimes, on quiet nights, the people of Ethoria claim to see a silver-haired figure dancing in the twilight sky, a reminder of the brave soul who brought light to their world.